going green today. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got something super different. No bleach on this white house. I've cleaned it before, two years ago now, but uh, there's a lot of plans and I think my blend was a little too harsh and the client said, hey, is that something more greener, eco-friendly? I said, sure. A little bit of a markup on it because of the cost. But we are gonna go all green today on this white house. Got a few spots that I know are gonna give me trouble. But times like this where we're gonna go with a more, not more, but more or less uh, effective chemical, which I do know it is less effective. We're gonna go more pressure than relying on that melt away power of bleach or sh so coming along with me let's we'll see how this goes let's we'll see how this green clean is gonna go even though it's a green chemical I'm still gonna hit the plants real good. Just out of habit, but also give the client that peace of mind. I'm actually running the five gallon a day because what I've discovered is running the eight gallon X jet tip. It doesn't draw soap, but it's a really good, a few steps up from using a five gallon soap tip on an eight gallon unit. So they, the two kind of almost meet in the middle and sort of the same. So now that that's done, I'm going to turn my soap on the same way I usually do. I just did a separate drop stick into the simple green and then we're going to go get after it. So I'm set up in this back. I got my soap turned on. Just wait, waiting for that. And my goal is to just simply coat the whole thing but not overcoat because I'm going to let it sit all the way across the whole house. I'm gonna let the whole house sit. Yeah, here's my soap. So nothing different on here. And by the way, you could charge a nice premium for green cleaning. I do know that. I've used this on the windows before. Fantastic job there. Smells pretty good too. Got a little minty flavor to it, but it runs about 120 for a five gallon tote. So keep that in mind when you're pricing. The way I did it, I basically kept my house wash number and added 100 to a smaller house wash. So that's one way of doing it. Again, I'm just coating it. See that green? We're gonna let that slide and let it do its job. I'm just gonna continue with the coat. I'm not switching off the soap. I'm not really rinsing any of these plants too much until I get back to the front. Spider webs do kind of loosen up, but don't quite kill like SH and that's just really the point of the video is green is good I like it some customers do request it I use it at the lake that's what one of the best places to use it I use it on the gazebo overlooking the lake 
That's good. That's a great place for it. We'll see how that gutter do. So it browned up a little bit when the cleaner hit it. Got rose bushes here. Not concerned at all. Stuff is really eco-friendly. That's why you kind of pay the price because it's just that good for the environment. And I know SH does dilute my whole lot after you're done uh, rinsing after. But I think this is a great, great alternative for that peace of mind client. I'm doing top down because I washed this house before and I just want a really hard saturation all over the whole house. And that's it. Nothing really crazy I'm expecting out of this chemical or any green chemical really. The goal is to have it evenly applied. and then whip out some pressure. That's why I said I'm gonna run the eight gallon X-Jet on my five gallon unit. Let's go to the front. This looks pretty good. Evenly coated. Back at the front, from the looks of it, I got about two gallons left. So more than plenty to probably do a little bit more in certain places with this chemical. See, I'm not worried about the flowers. They're saturated and this is green. Oh yeah. Here's another problematic side got a lot of green underneath the window some of that runoff right there so to saturate it So what actually got the client to seal the deal to go with simple green, they also got a new roof, well a new roof paint job. And the painters were not sure how it was going to react to the bleach. So to make everybody happy, go with green. And now we made it to the last side here where we started on this corner. You can see it comes on really, really soapy, but kind of just the right amount. So if you're considering simple green, this is how it does. Looks like about a gallon left. So I am gonna generously reapply some of these problem areas. I 
and the backside. Just gonna let that drip down. Almost reactivating kind of the old application. And like I said, I'm a fan of doing what works. I know what works. But in some cases, try something different. For example, I'm gonna still rinse these plants, even though it's green. So the customer has triple peace of mind at this point. But there will be times where you have to say no to a client, to whatever shenanigans they want to do, if you know for sure and for certain that there's a process, it works, there's a chemical, it works. You just have to either say my way or the highway. The customer is not always right, guys. Back to where we started. Really, the gutters are really problematic. And a little bit more underneath that window and this corner. And of course, you can never ever forget about Old Faithful Brush. Not bad, not bad. Comes off. Do the gutters while I'm at it too. Yeah, works that simple green in real good. Now that we kind of loosened that up, it's okay. I'm gonna go with my eight gallon X Jet to get that really good slap to really break up some of the spider webs and leaves and some of that green. You probably could hear it. Look at that.
So I'm just basically hammering it with pressure. And I'm pretty much going one rung at a time on the siding, one layer at a time. I'm just kind of smacking it around and then I'll probably switch to soft wash and bring it down a little more gently so it's not making a mess everywhere. So just gotta adapt a little bit. So this is the technique that I'm essentially going with. Switch to a soft wash tip after the X-Jet tip and just gently rinse off any little stragglers because there's so much pressure, it's blowing it everywhere. All right, we made it back to the front. A lot of pressure, a little bit of brushing, but it got the job done. So we're gonna walk on the front. Please subscribe, like the video, comment on the video if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next time.